Okay, welcome to the channel. This is actually going to be video two, even though video one is never going to be able to get uploaded. Unfortunately, the video got misplaced, deleted, or something off the computer, so I will have to go back and show you some of the work that I've already done. What this is, is I picked up a 2014 Mustang. It is the V6, the 2.7, with the MT82 manual transmission. Um, whoever actually had this vehicle before, it got wrecked and was sent to Copart. I actually did some modifications to it, which I will show. Some of those will actually be taken off and sold because they're not going to work for my application. Now, my plan is to take the 3.7 motor out and put the 3.5 EcoBoost motor in. Um, I'm actually going to plan to build this one from the bottom end. This is another junkyard motor that actually I had picked up for this project. I currently already have a F-150 2014 with the EcoBoost motor uh, along with a 2018 with the 2.3 EcoBoost motor um, Mustang. As far as the interior goes, the only issue was it. Oops, keys in the ignition here. At least the chime works. Is the driver's side airbags blue? Which I already have a replacement steering wheel airbag right there. And the seat that I picked up from the junkyard that was the exact color I needed. And oddly enough, the airbag did not pop in that one. And of course, someone had to take the door bezel off and the front vent. That's going to be a hard thing to find because uh, you generally cannot buy these separate from Ford. So I have to find a damaged door panel and see if I can get it off of there. Now the actual inside, except for being dirty, is not in bad shape. Um, of course the seat will get replaced. The back seats were in great shape. Honestly, I don't even think they were even used. No marks with them ever of a child seat at least. At least from the first or second owner. Now, when I purchased this from Copart, and I'll put the images up there of the vehicle from Copart. The only part that was missing that would make it fairly difficult to drive up on a trailer was the shifter knob was gone. So before I went to pick it up, I ordered one of these to make it easier to get up on the trailer. Let me shut the door here so it doesn't chime on me. Now, the only warning lights that are actually going to be coming on if I was to start it would be course the airbag light because well airbags are popped there's a low tire sensor the check engine lights actually not going to be on if I was to start it and this has got some low miles on it considering it's a 2014 um, 77,298.8 gauge system does completely work now I do have already purchased um, replacement gauges for this. I'm gonna switch it out to the one that has the digital screen here. It also ends up moving the fuel and engine temperature over to this side and your mileage and message screen instead of being here is gonna be on the center screen. Um, to be able to use that, you have to replace these switches out, which I also have already purchased. Now this unit, or car, excuse me, does have fog lights uh, unfortunately in the wreck that it was involved fog lights are gone um, I actually have to replace one of the connectors and of course get the complete fog light assembly the radio in this one is definitely the stripped down radio 
um, does not even have Sirius satellite radio even though it has a little button right there that says Sirius satellite radio when you push it it says does not have it let me step back out here Now the paint job, whoever had this before, did a horrible job of trying to wax. So I gotta clean all this white wax that comes up. Excuse the mess around here. It took me three days to clean the garage over Labor Day to be able to fit the car in here. I'm gonna be taking more stuff over to the storage unit and to the scrapyard. Now if you look under here, you'll actually see the original front radiator support, which I've already removed from the vehicle because it was bent we already got the replacement one transferred over to the, the hardware now some of the stuff that this vehicle already has is aftermarket adjustable struts and shocks coil which if I can get it thrown in here these are actually the peddler um, coilovers, front and rear, and then the coil spring in the back. Um, it also does have a adjustable BMR red panhand bar. Does not have the other bar, which I will end up getting. Oh, let me turn the light back on, there it goes. Now, one of the biggest surprise when I got this, you actually see the top of the adjustable peddler's uh, coil over here. Also has the adjustment for camber up here. Was the fact that it has BBK headers. It even has the short cat BBK uh, crossover pipe. If I was to start it up, it'd be really loud in here, so I'll do another video and attach it to this one. Aftermarket air intake. Um, I'll put it in the description. I can't remember which one of this is, but I've already researched it. The other side here. As far as the damage goes, it's really going to be repairable. Um, as you can see, um, the front members are actually bent. But the way they're bent is totally repairable and can reinforce it and do it in such a way that it will still bend there if necessary in a crash. A couple of things I'm going to have to replace. Washer Reservoir. Totally cracked it there. I already have a new reinforcement bumper. That was a little bit interesting getting it off. You would think it was only bolted on there, but it's actually riveted or spot welded on three on each side. So, gotten very efficient on cutting spot welds again. As you can see, all the spot welds that were cut here. Uh, the sad part is about this one is I totally forgot about the three spot welds on both sides underneath. The hood's going to have to get replaced. You can see the damage there. Matter of fact, it actually split it a little bit right there. Then if you look on the side, right around there, you can see on both sides where it was starting to do the fold. Kind of hard to see. It's a little dusty in here. Now, believe it or not, I was surprised to find out, actually you can see a couple of the parts in here, and a couple of things I took off, that this actually does have a factory spare tire in it and kit. Unfortunately, it will not work for my application. Uh, I have to replace this, or at least take it off and paint it. That is not all dust. 
It's actually where the clear coat has come off of it. I replaced the third brake light too. You can see the bad wax job I was talking about right there. All the tail lights work as aftermarket mufflers ish. I'll take a picture uh, and upload it here of what they did. Best way to describe it is you've got BK headers, BK crossover pipe, which are designed to go into the stock uh, rear pipes past the X pipe. Well, instead of getting adapters, they basically stuck a, I'm trying to remember what size the stock is, a two inch exhaust pipe into, I believe these are either Flowmaster 40s or 44s, and then proceeded to try to fill the gap by welding it and it looks like they were trying to fill at least a quarter inch gap all the way around the pipe because they went from a two to a two and a half and of course that's not going to work out too well if you don't know what you're doing the plan with the tires and rims is to switch them out um, I'm wanting to do the uh, GT uh, 500 brakes which switches the back end out to uh, 14s also to match the 14s on front I'm planning on doing I'm not going to use the adapter brackets that you can get on eBay I think they go for about a hundred hundred and twenty bucks I plan on getting the actual ZT brackets which means you have to pull the axle tubes out unbolt the existing brackets and bolt the new ones in I'd much rather do that than have a caliper attached to a bracket, that bracket attached to a bracket, and that bracket attached to the factory adapter bracket from Ford. That's basically too, too many bolts that I don't want to deal with. And every single one of those is a shear point. Up front, of course, it's got the stock. <laughs> I'm going to switch the rims out also because um, you cannot fit the four piston Brembos <laughs> inside these rims let alone <laughs> have the clearance here and here um, I believe these are originally 12s I'd have to look it up I honestly don't remember I got all this written down um, so I'll have a good set of rims that will be going up for sale probably um, now, I mean, the guy who had this before actually did do decent brake pads on the front, and he did a brake kit in the back. Now, the underside, if I can get to it, I may not be able to get to it in this video. I may have to edit it out. <laughs> 